Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and if you enjoyed the content, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget at the end or down below right now to help us grow to 230 or more by the end of the month. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. This is going to be on one of my favorite battles in the NHL the Battle of Florida between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers. Now, the Panthers got off to a solid start in terms of their shot output to chances output compared to the Lightning. The Lightning were kind of the land of opportunity. Their first shot for a while into the game was 237 in, and then they didn't even get a shot off for a while after that, which was Kucherov snipe that Spencer Knight had absolutely no chance to get. And then after the disallowed goal that I think was kind of a soft goalie interference, not necessarily based off of if you look at the letter of the law of the rule, but based off of just the way the rule is called by Toronto. The NHL really needs to establish a legit definition of what the hell goaltender interference is, because it's kind of BS that for one team it goes this way and for another team it goes that way. Get it right and put an actual like st structured definition around it. I don't care how hard it is, do it. Um, and then Reinhardt had a beautiful snipe for his 30th goal. Stamkos had a kind of knuckleballer uh, one time. Are you used to him having a beautiful snipe? Not so much on the first power play goal. And then Cal Foot just had a perfect, just accuracy shot. Didn't overcomplicate it. A guy that obviously was in as the seventh defenseman. They're trying to probably get his legs stretched out because he's going to be the depth defenseman in case they got to use him in the playoff. So that was smart to do by John Cooper. And then Brandon Montour runs into a, literally skating off the bench, I think it was, coming from a change, runs into the blast and wires one top shelf for his 11th, having a hell of a season. I'm um, having one of the best seasons of his career, honestly, with a plus 16, 37 points, 11 goals, 27 ass or 26 assists, excuse me. As Montour's been very good since going down to Florida, a flashback to the second season of his career um, with the Anaheim Ducks when they actually still had all that talent up there in Anaheim on their defense when he was under well put together defense just like he is in Florida this guy's able to flourish as a great offensive component that's also improved his defensive game over the years as well but also Mason Marchment then had a beautiful goal I swear when I watch Florida games just like Mason Marchment just scores or gets an assist he's a fun guy to watch Drew had his 42nd assist Mackenzie Weger has 36 assists honestly should be a dark horse I forgot to mention that I mean, I, I pissed off, I forgot to mention that in the awards video with E-Money, but for, for the um, Norris. And then Marchment was able to get a kind of one-handed, just flick of the wrist, a uh, backhander. Then Niles Paul wins the award for goal of the game, assisted by Brandon Hagel, who's still trying to get his feet under him with the Tampa Bay Lightning, finding his role there. But had a nice pass to Paul, who went through his own wickets and then roofed it over, I believe it was still Spencer Knight at that point, as he scored, and then he got a fortunate backhand as he was trying to make a pass. That was kind of one of those just crap happens goals as it blanked off of the goaltender and went in. And then Braden Point had one that he made a nice stick play to make sure the defender was not able to knock the puck off of his blade. And then wired one home. Reinhardt had his second in front of the net. Kucherov had his second. And then Stammer had his second, which was actually more of a Stamco shot, a snipe, as Bobrovsky was not able to get to the other side. This was a game to wrap up this video in conclusion. Florida honestly got off to the better start. Uh, Kucherov was just able to get the goal on a snipe that nobody was saving with the way that he picked just about that much space just to fit the damn puck and was able to fit it into there. So beautifully done by Nikita Kucherov. Um, beautiful game by Steven Stamkos. Those two are definitely stars of the game. But you also got to give Niles Paul a star of the game and Sam Reinhardt for his effort of trying to fight and scratch and claw to try to keep the Panthers in the game. I thought he was their best skater on the ice in that game. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been Sports Fanatics News' latest hockey episode. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget to keep the channel going and growing to 230 or more by the end of April to meet our goal. If we don't, that's okay, but let's try to get it to 230 as quick as possible, people. Love y'all. Peace out and enjoy the hockey.